On the outskirts of Beijing, the end of season pigeon auction is underway. There are 540 birds to be sold, and the starting price for each is £350. Instead of art, it's pigeons these well off Chinese men and women are buying. This year, a record $1 million was paid by an owner from China for a prized Belgian bird. To find out why an ancient pastime is attracting such big spending, we visited Beijing's training and breeding centers and followed the races where winnings run into the millions. Every day at sunrise, the chief trainer and his team at the Huashun De Pigeon Club release the flock for a four-hour training session. There are more than 4,000 birds kept there by owners from across the region. Unpredictable weather conditions and their tendency to fly in groups makes it hard for any one bird to dominate. Mr. Fang watches carefully for potential prize winners. I became quite captivated watching the pigeons do their laps. I did not expect to enjoy the experience of having over 4,000 birds flying above my head, but we've been watching them for over three hours now, and it's actually quite calming and mesmerizing. And they've disappeared. <laughs> China has a long history of pigeon racing, dating back seven centuries to the Ming Dynasty, but has only recently developed such a huge following, largely among the country's rising middle classes for whom pigeons have become an unlikely luxury item. With so much money at stake, breeding is key. There are now an estimated 100,000 breeders in Beijing alone, Li Da is one of those trying to find the perfect pair. I followed him rather nervously at first. <laughs> Into one of his breeding coops to be shown what it takes to make a winner. After some resistance from its mother, Li was able to show me one of the newest born. This 10-day-old squab is the offspring of two prize-winning pigeons. The lineage of both the mother and father important. And are you hoping one day these will be champion pigeons? Uh, okay. <laughs> Finally, it came to race day. This was the final regional competition of the spring season in Beijing. The pigeons were tagged, logged, and then loaded into lorries to be driven to the starting line. Their owners hoping their birds might win them a lot of money. Song Li Jiang was feeling confident his would do well.
Xu Wenjiang entered 500 of her pigeons in the race. She inherited her love for the sport from her father. And like top athletes, the birds must be properly fueled and hydrated for the competition. Jiang Chung Fang managed to carry out the somewhat surgical looking process while telling us about her chances. This was one of four race registration points to process almost 20,000 pigeons. At dawn the next day, in neighboring Henan province, the birds were released. It is a fast and furious process, during which the pigeons appeared at their most competitive, fighting to get free and find their way home. Wang had 77 of his birds in the race. It took the fastest of them six hours to cover the 300-mile distance to return to him. But the poor weather conditions had taken their toll. Uh, and then came more bad news. One of the few who did return was badly injured. This is one of the reasons animal charities condemn the sport and its lack of regulation. Sai it was also the race day at the training center. The return rate there was higher, and so were the winnings. Back at the auction, the bids were hotting up. The biggest spender on the day applauded for his 50,000 pound purchase. Pigeons have certainly become a hot ticket item in China a casual hobby has become one of the country's most competitive sports.